Today we're in the Inka Dinka Do studios of EK Success and we're going to discuss wood stamps. Wood stamps, whether you are new to uh, the art of stamping or you're a seasoned veteran, are an absolute must to have in your collection. They were by far the, the original stamper offered to crafters. Uh, everyone will see the difference in stamping when you stamp with a wood stamp. Just the feel of it is very welcoming when you begin your project. You're going to notice that there is a wood block generally a standard size, a thickness that is comfortable to most people's hands. You'll see there is a side grip on either side for your hand. You'll also notice that there is a label on the top. This label is completely aligned with the image on the underside of the stamp. You'll see that when you position it, if you position it where you want your stamp to go, it will come down exactly at that spot. There's a few layers to every wood stamp. You're going to have your wood, obviously, because of the name. You're going to have a thin layer of black foam. This cushions it and leavens when you put your pressure. If for some reason you don't get the exact pressure, this is going to be a little bit of a helper to you because it'll self-leaven itself. You also have your red rubber. We like to use red rubber. Certain companies have decided that other colors are a little bit more designer looking, but red rubber is by far the best. What it does because of the pigmentation in the red and the pigmentation in your ink, the two work side by side and it always gives you nice even coverage. So when you stamp, you're going to get a very solid direct coverage. And you'll also see that this one, because it's words, are a little bit more open but you could also have such as the barn where you have very, very finite detail. This one actually was created from an artist's rendering and it's amazing how detailed the rubber actually becomes. You can see here I've used this stamp very heavily. This is one of my favorites. But we also have the birds and you can just see the general detail that you get from that. When you're stamping with wood, just take a piece of paper here and we'll use a little pin cushion. I like to come down onto my stamp with my pad. Some people prefer to use the, the stamp and go onto your ink pad. Either way works. It's what you feel the most comfortable with. When you come down onto your stamp, make sure you have four corners covered on the outer edges and then put your two index fingers in the center. Come down on it and you have a perfect image. Working with wood stamps, you can use any type of ink. You can use pigment, dye, uh, chalk ink, or even a solvent. They all work equally as well. The most important thing to keep in mind is that as soon as you are finished stamping, make sure you clean your stamp. If it's not thoroughly clean and dry, the next time you stamp, it will contaminate the next color that you're using, and it could destroy your ink pad as well as the project that you're working on. And one more reason why I love wood stamps is you'll see that this wood is a very, very nice hardwood. You can see where I'm holding it to get my hand grips on both sides. And we use a either oak or maple. This is such a hard, non-porous wood that even if you do happen to get a little bit of ink on the corners when you're inking, just take a either a crafter's wipe or a little bit of liquid and cleaner and it'll come right off because it's not going to absorb it due to the fact that it is so hard. So I'm hoping that uh, you enjoyed our little visit today with stamping and with our wood stamps, and I recommend that you check out our other videos on Kling and Claire as well.